Yeah. MMA Weekly, we're sitting here with the victorious welterweight, the resurging welterweight, Josh Berkman, World mm -hmm. Series of Fighting Three. How you doing, bro? I'm good. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely on a high. I haven't let it all. You know, I got to still watch the fight. You That's know? kind of my. I, I want to ask you all these questions, like, but. It's just been a whirlwind. We're only like 30 minutes removed from it. Right. So I, I, not only is it the biggest win of your career, it's the biggest three wins of your career. It's the biggest moment of your career, and it all happened outside the UFC. Right. You know, I th I, I've been telling people for, for a long time, you know, that my best, my best performances were not in the UFC, and everybody's best performances aren't in the UFC. You know, I was, I was learning on the job. When I was in the UFC, I had only been fighting for two years. So, you know, I was getting fights against guys like Carl Parisian and John Fitch, and, and I wasn't very dedicated to, to my craft, you know, constant dedication. Well, constant dedication, you know, is what keeps us ahead. And I would only train for five Fight. You know, so I would get a fight. They'd say, "Hey, Josh, you want to take this fight with John Fitch?" And you know, I would, but I'd, I'd be out of shape. And then, so I'd take six weeks or eight weeks, and I'd train for a fight. And then after those six or eight weeks, I'd go and I'd live the opposite because there was a lot of kind of like, an excuse, like, well, I did this, you know? so now I can go do this. Right, yeah, in a balance. Like I trained, trained so hard, so then I did the exact opposite. And that's, you know, that's kind of known that that's how I was. And you know, and now I say, you know, I'm, I'm a true mixed martial artist. You know, I'm constantly, I'm not training to get better. Uh, to win fights anymore. I'm training to be the best that I can be, and I think that that's kind of what that's what's happening now. Is that that's why I'm, I'm you know that's what my martial arts about. And I got a lot of uh, respect for John Fitch, and that's that's probably the reason I was so focused and, and so ready is because I knew what was in front of me. It was one of the bigger upsets in mixed martial arts history. Although you don't sound surprised in yourself, not even in the least. Well, you know, I, I, I think you know I've said it a couple times. Self belief is is very powerful, and you know, I believe in myself and I believe in my abilities and I, I've always thought that uh, I always knew I was really tough, you know, and I always knew I could be the best, but I never did the things that I needed to do in my life to become the best. And now I'm living in a way that, that I, I truly believe that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm headed in that direction. You know, I think the best, the best me is the best fighter in the world in this white class. What do you think is next for you? I heard they're saying Carl, but MMA Weekly just heard that that might not be the case. So we, we're not sure what's next for you, and what what, do you, what have you heard? Um, you know, I, I only thing that I heard is on our conference call with John Fitch that the winner of the fight between John Fitch and I would get the first title shot. Um, so, you know, I've heard that Steve Carl is going to fight, and he deserves that, that shot also, 2-0. You know, and, but I also think it would be cool to have a tournament. And, and have somebody cut, win that tournament, you know, and with my injury, you know, there might be a little time for that to happen and, you know, but at the same time, we'll, you know, I'll, I'll be ready for it. I, no, I deserve it. They no. should after that, they should have just handed me the belt. That's what I was kind of thinking. I mean, it, it, was, it was a former UFC fighter versus a former UFC great. John Fitch is arguably the third greatest welterweight of all time right. behind Matt Hughes and George St. Pierre. Absolutely. And you just beat that guy. Yeah. You also beat the toughest guy the World Series of Fighting has to offer. Is there any concern with that? It's like, man, I'm riding this huge win streak, I'd like to keep it going with even bigger names, but that's not necessarily possible. Right. Well, you know, I mean, it's going to be tough to be a name like John, John Fitch, you know, there's, there's not, like you said, he might be the third greatest of, of all time, but the World Series of Fighting is going out and they're, they're getting, they're getting fighters. They went out and got John Fitch, they got Aaron Simpson, Absolutely. they got Harris, they got Steve Carl. So there's a good group of guys there, you know, and, and I'm, I think that I'll be able to get the right, right fights that continue to bring out the best of me. Well, lastly, I just want to bring up, I saw you in the cage with your uh, newborn yeah. and your wife. That was a pretty cool moment. Yeah. It was going through your head at that time. If you it know, wasn't, um, I mean, you can't really... You know, I was, just, I was just very in the moment, you know, and I was just like, wow, you know, and, and I... I'm just so grateful, you know, that they get a part, be a part of this. They've they've grounded me and they've given me structure in my life and for my wife and my little boy to be able to walk in and and give me a hug and a kiss and you know say good job. I mean that's just one of the greatest feelings that uh, you can have, especially with Father's Day coming up. Sure. You know, my, this is a big weekend. We had we had John Fitch fight tonight. We got my wife's birthday tomorrow and we got Father's Day on Sunday. So I'm I'm glad that I'm sitting in the winner's chair. It would have been. You know, and you believe in yourself, and, and, and I believe that, you know, um, that I have a lot of potential and I'm going to get a lot better, you know, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it and surprise myself sometimes. I didn't I didn't expect to stop John Fitch in the first round. Mm -hmm. the, the stat is, and maybe this will make you feel a little bit better on top of already, 28 of 28 submission attempts. John Fitch was able to defend in his UFC career one submission yeah, yeah, yeah. attempt in World Series of Fighting, yeah, and you put him out. And if you think of the people, he, and if you think of the people he's fought, that's right. pretty impressive, Josh. Well, you know, I uh, I hope this is just a, run, a long run of uh, you know surprising people and, and and impressive, and you know being impressive in, in what I do. I'm 
like I said, I'm I'm very humbled right now, you know, and uh, I'm just I'm just still gonna soak it in for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Berkman. Thanks, guys.